back, everyone. So I'm Sandy. I'm Sandy. We're uh, we're gonna do a cool thing today, and I, I find it cool because it's a new toy. And as you come to find out, I got a bunch of those kicking around. Um, the ATV I own. So I own a 2005 Polaris Sportsman 700 EFI. It's the twin model. Great unit. Very reliable. Trouble I had the winch after you know probably good 10 years of use. It's sort of uh, sort of had its day in the sun. So. Bought a replacement winch. So I looked at the prices of winches on Amazon, looked around at dealers, and come to find out you can get a brand new winch, usually a little bit cheaper than you can get it, uh, get it, uh, get it fixed for. So the winch here, the one that I bought, is a super winch. So this unit is on Amazon. This is called the Super Winch LT3000. Now I did a bit of research because I wanted to do a direct replacement so that I wouldn't have to buy any extra hardware. I wanted to make sure the mounting kit that I already had on the ATV would fit this unit. So I did some measurements, bit of research, didn't really have a for sure as to whether this would work or not. Bought it anyways and I'm gonna unbox it and we'll find out whether it fits. So first impressions, uh, seems pretty good. Seems like it's gonna be a pretty good winch. It's got 3,000 pounds of pulling. It, uh, it's got a remote. It's got a toggle on the uh, on the handlebar looks like it's got a steel cable 50 feet of it and yeah price was right this was $200 Canadian add on a bit of tax free shipping seemed like a decent deal before you go and say well you should have taken the old one apart and tried to fix it I did I took it apart checked the motor ran power to it motor work however there's a shaft that goes through the old the old winch it appears there's a little gear and that gear has been stripped out because it no longer engages the gear that drives the larger drum. So this was really the only, only feasible option. First things first, let's open her up. Okay. All right. Look at that. We'll send you, uh, we'll send you some free newspaper or free, uh, free fire starter, as I like to call it, the instruction manual. But uh, we'll hold on to that just in case. Um, Got your, got your hardware here for your standard um, mounting hardware. Open this up. Looks like it's divided into two parts here. Looks like we got our, looks like we got our, our toggle for the handlebars in the machine. Um, just so you know, what I'm going to try to do is keep the existing toggle, keep the existing solenoid, the existing wiring, and basically everything this came with, put it aside. And just take the winch itself, just take the winch itself, plug in the existing wiring, and hope for the best. Right? Plug it directly into the existing wiring that's on the ATV, and assuming uh, everything goes to plan, it's going to fire right up. But first impression after unboxing this thing, it feels pretty robust. So this is cast iron. This is cast iron, cast iron, um, some, sort of, uh, some sort of steel there. Um, steel cable, 50 feet. I think it says on here it's, let's say, 3 8 uh, 3 16 Big difference. 3 16 of an inch thick wiring, right? 12 volt, we know that four way roller fair lead. So here's the fair lead it came with. My first impression of this is it's, it looks pretty, pretty good. It doesn't look like a, a cheap unit. It looks like it'll, it'll be equally as good as the unit that came with the machine, the ATV. So fairly looks good, four rollers, they all seem to spin quite well. Winch, as I mentioned, seems pretty good. On the far end of the winch itself, you've got a control, and this control is for free spool and engaged. So engaged meaning it's powered, so you can take the winch uh, in and out, take the cable in and out. Free spool, you can manually pull the cable out. The actual mechanism here seems pretty good. So I'm always leery of these these uh, too good to be true deals. I feel like this is quite good. So hopefully it stands the test of time. So winch looks good. Uh, the rocker switch, it's rubber. So it's actually rubber over the switch, which is cool. So you're not gonna get dirt and water in there. It looks pretty straight, it looks pretty standard. The uh, gauge of wiring looks, looks exactly what's on the machine now. So it looks like it's definitely the right gauge. Hardware, so hardware looks quite standard. 
Um, you got uh, rubber boots here to go over the connection, which is nice. What else we got in here? This unit, I'm assuming this is to plug the, yes, so this wires in, so it looks like the power source on your ATV, and that will allow you to power an auxiliary switch, which probably allows you to stand, I don't know if it says, but it allows you to stand a little ways away from your machine to run the cable. That's kind of nice, because I'm going to be using the winch to haul a lot of logs. And every once in a while, the, the winch gets uh, hung up, I can walk a little bit, unhook it, whatever I need, and operate it from there. So that stuff looks pretty good. All right, so we got some more wiring here. This looks like uh, some sort of connection. More wiring. I like how it's color coordinated. So you got your positive and your negative terminals. Your, your uh, color coordination is nice. So you got your super super winch label on the front to hook on to your your hook. The hook. Okay, quarter inch. Looks good. This is this is quite standard. You probably find this at any hardware store. So I'm sure it's rated. It doesn't say it on it, but I'm sure it's rated for whatever the capacity of the cable is. And then finally getting into this box here, this appears to be the solenoid. So that looks quite good. There's really not a lot to say about that other than it looks just like the stock one. The stock one actually looks worse because it's old. But that's what comes in the box. And first impressions are it's going to work pretty well. Next thing, and this is where the, the important part is, figuring out whether or not this is going to fit into the stock mounting hardware for the ATV. As I mentioned, I've got a Polaris 2005 Sportsman 700 EFI. This is the stock mounting hardware. This is one piece, and this old rusty gem is the other. So the fair lead on this, it is rusted pretty salt. I've greased this thing to the hills and it's still pretty, pretty tough to get going. So I'm hoping this winch will slide in here because if it slides in here, I can then mount it, it can mount like, like that. And then this mounts to the front of the ATV. So that's the hope. So I measured, and although I measured and I read the details of the winch online on Amazon really closely, you never know until you try it. So here it goes. So good. Get in there. All right. Looking good. Awesome. And that actually that actually lines up. If you didn't tell me this was a a new winch, this lines up exactly the way the stock one does. And actually, the placement of the drum in comparison to the Fairlead opening, it's actually right where it wants to be, right where it needs to be. And the only other thing is whether the bolt holes on the back of the winch are going to line up with the bolt holes on the back of the mounting bracket. So I'm going to hold this real tight so I can tell absolutely certainly it does. Great. So that's great news. The mounting holes on this Super Winch LT3000 line up exactly where the stock Polaris holes on my Sportsman 700 are located. So what that means, it's a plug and play unit. I can basically order this thing, replace the stock winch. Oops. Obviously I don't have bolts in there, but replace the stock winch. And assuming that the electrical, there's no hiccups there, assuming there isn't, we'll be good to go. So all I can say is, would I recommend this winch? Absolutely, I'd recommend it from a fitment standpoint. As for an electric standpoint, whether it's going to work with the original electronics, uh, the electrical system on the ATV, next time around when I actually install it, that's when we'll know for sure. But for the for now, looks good. I'd recommend buying it because I think it's going to work real well. Price is right, 200 bucks, and I'll be back up and running. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. Next time, here's some things we're going to look at coming up. So, got to finish fixing the ATV winch. Got to head back out to the red pine forest, keep thinning the keep thinning the bush, bring it bring it back to a healthy state. Got to change the ATV fluids, gear case, front and back.
transmission. Uh, what else we got in there? We got the uh, engine oil. I'm going to change engine oil filter, air filter. Give it a good once over for rust. Make sure everything's all set for next year.